G'day, welcome to Craft With Us and this is Donna Arthur. Thank you very much for joining us again. This year I'm going to do a series based on the cards that I make for my family and friends. I'm from a really big family so it should keep us busy pretty much all year. Today I'll be making this birthday card for my sister Alison. You can see that I've got that nice blue piece of paper and that purple card. These are both from the Stormy Skies card builder pack. So this is a pack that I've put together with cards, uh, card bases, envelopes, and a couple of other little bits and pieces that coordinate. We'll also be using the Happy Birthday die and this little girl with balloons stamp and die set. I've also got another pack called the Allison card kit that you can purchase at. Look below for the links. You're gonna be needing a couple of washers for this today. In actual fact, I use three washers. I get these are the 3 16ths of an inch that I get from Bunnings. They're only a couple of bucks and you get 35 in a pack. I'll also be using, you know, some glue, my pick tool. This is a half inch punch, you know, and a couple of other things to make the card today. So you can see here that I've already stamped the image. I've done that with Memento Black ink and I've coloured it in with some alcohol markers. I'm not an expert at colouring, so I didn't include that today. This is one of the A4 sheets that actually come in the card builder pack. It comes blank and I've printed snowflakes on it. I didn't have a stamp, so I just went on to Google, got a free image, um, dropped it into Word, colored it, reshaped it, duplicated it and printed it through my inkjet printer. I did all of this as my sister Alison is obsessed with the band Snow Patrol, so I decided to put the snow as my background. Normally I would do clouds, but decided in this case to do snow. You can see I flipped the card over there, it's blank, it normally comes blank, so whatever I don't use of the snow I can use blank on the other side if I if I like. So the actual card size is 5 inch by 7 inch, however that's just a bit big for what I normally use. I want to do a standard A6 card, so I am going to be cutting this card down. This is a standard A6 side. So one of the things I love about the cards in this pack is that they're white on the inside so it makes it nice and easy to put a greeting on the inside if you like. I'm just going to grab my cutter and cut this down and I will actually be using some of the leftover scraps later. So because I cut down a lot of cards you can see I just was pointing out that I've got marks specifically on my cutter to do that with. So an A6 card is actually 10 and a half by 14.8 centimeters. So basically an A4 piece of paper folded in half. I'm also going to cut down the snowflakes and I've cut them down to 10 centimeters by 14.3. So it gives me that lovely little edge all around the outside. So for me, I find that a lot of the time when I cut out my images, it's not even. For some reason, I never get the die positioned correctly. So what I've started doing, I got this idea from Gina K Designs, is I've made a template. So just a bit of scrap card. It's a light card stock that I've used to make my template. And what I'm doing is I'm lining it up over the image. So I was able to stamp my image on a nice scrap piece of paper that I use of the nice bright white. This tape is a... Um, low tack painters tape that I also get from Bunnings, cheap, cheap. And so now that I've got that template on there, I should be able to fit my die in there. Now it will fit in like a little puzzle. I'm just having another look there. I think I end up changing this around because I'm not happy with it. But you, what, what you do is you just slot that in. It will slot in until you can't move it around anymore. And then that's the perfect space. Uh, and then you'll be able to put it through your die cutting machine. There you go. I'm not happy with where it was positioned anyway. So I'm taking that off and repositioning it. And now I'm just popping in that die again. I'll then just run this through my die cut machine and it will cut out, which you'll be able to see beautifully in a moment. This is such an easy one. I've done it with pretty much all of my dies now. I made a template. Okay, so we can just take that tape off there. It's low tack, so it's nice and easy. And here's our little girl with the balloons colored in. And how beautiful is that? And it's perfect. She's purple in a purple dress because purple's Alison's favorite color. The template I just save in my die storage packet with my die and my stamp. So they're all together and I can find them next time. So this here, I was just checking out where I want to put the girl and, and move her because she'll be swinging on the front of the card like she's holding onto the balloons and swinging around. So 
To put this element on the card, I will need a small circle. So I'm just using my nesting circle dies. Once again, there'll be a link below to that. And I'm just positioning it. You could see that with the girl, I was checking to where she'd be swinging and make sure that I was happy with all of that. And I'm going to tape down that circle and pop it through my die machine, die cutting machine, I should say. You've just got to make sure that this circle that you cut is smaller than your washers. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm just going to get the washers prepared. So here I've got a scrap piece of white card and I'm putting double sided tape on it. I'm going to press this down really, really firmly into the back of the, into the paper. The reason being is it'll help me release the, you know, get the release paper off a lot easier. So I'm going to cut out a few of these. I just need two, one for each of the uh, washes that I have there. So I'm just going to take off the release paper and put on a bit of glue. And I'm going to stick them onto the back of the washers. I, I do that with both of them. Basically, what we're doing is covering up the hole. So now we're going to need a small round double sided foam dot. So you can just buy the dots and that's fine. I've bought heaps in the past, but today I'm going to make some. So I just use my quarter inch hole punch and I cut out some double sided foam tape. Now this foam tape here is actually folded in half its double thickness but I will show you and talk a little bit about that in a little while I folded it in half and I've cut out four but in actual fact we only need two so let's just stick one of these little hot these little dots which fit perfectly in the hole by the way that's there now I'm this is where I was talking about before with the double sided tape so I get this double sided tape from Bunnings it's 50 meters of it it's 1.2 centimeters wide like 12 millimeters wide and it costs like around 12 bucks this you can see here I'm literally doubling it over it's only one mil thick which is fantastic because you gives you an opportunity to have different levels on your card if you want I do like two mil thickness a lot of the time and in this case that's what we're using so I do double it over and just cut it off and I've got that nice long strip that's got release paper on both sides so I will put a link to that Bunnings tape down the bottom however you've, you do have to go into the store to buy it it's not available um, online and the only other thing is that I would like to tell you is that they, that release paper is actually plastic so you can't tear it okay I am just putting a heap of that all around the back to make sure it's got nice and solid and you can see now that I can pop that washer at the back and the dot is coming through now I'm putting the second dot on here but you could have done that at the first instance make sure it's through the hole and popping that second washer on top and you can see that jiggling around there now that's jiggling probably a bit more than I wanted so I've added a bit more double-sided tape there which you know you can do if you want to or make it jiggle a lot that's fine as well the next thing I'm doing is with that third washer that I mentioned earlier is I'm putting it on the back of my little swinging element the reason for this is so she swings better because she doesn't swing quite as well um, without a bit of weight so I've also released uh, taken the release paper off the back of that double-sided tape checked that my card is opening the correct way and placing the card you know my mat cut on the front and with that lovely purple edge all the way around it just make sure that when you do that that you haven't stuck your you know uh, washer element down so some glue and I believe I also put a glue dot to hold that lovely girl in place and you can see her swinging around so here I get to use um, some of the scraps of the card that I cut I cut out the happy birthday three times two out of the light purple which were the leftover scraps from where I cut the card and then from the dark purple that also comes in the pack I laid them up stuck them on the front of the card I've stamped a sentiment inside and just put some of those gems and voila the card is finished so thank you once again for joining me if you enjoyed this video please say like and subscribe I do really appreciate the time you spend with me catch you next time